Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about osteology of clavicle. The clavicle is a long bone placed horizontally across the neck from the manubrium sterni to the acromion process of the scapula above the first rib. In anatomical position, lateral or acromial end is flat. The medial or sternal end is quadrilateral. Shaft is convex in its medial one two third, in its medial two third, and concave forward laterally in its anterior one third. Middle of the shaft has a longitudinal groove on its inferior surface. Okay, so if you go make it large so this is the clavicle anterior two third is convex lateral one third is concave and it is flattened lateral part the medial part or sternal part is quadrilateral under surface we have a subclavian group okay so we got the anatomical position Then we have to identify the structure here. So acromial end or lateral end is flattened. The sternal end is quadrilateral. Okay, this is a shaft of the clavicle. This is a long bone. It is two end and one shaft. The superior surface here. Inferior surface is demarcated by the groove for the sub clavius muscle attachment at the margin will get attachment of the clavipectoral fascia and here we have the conoid tubercle for the articulation to the conoid part of coracoclavicular ligament this is the trapezoid line for the articulation to the to the trapezoid part of the coracoclavicular ligament okay here the stern sternal facet here articulate with the manubrium sternum impression for the costoclavicular ligament we have muscle anteriorly we have the pectoralis major muscle the deltoid muscle laterally superior with the sternocleidomastoid muscle medially trapezius posteriorly nerve supply of deltoid is the axillary nerve from the posterior cord from the brachial plexus Trapezius is getting nerve supply from the spinal root of accessory nerve. Stanocleidomastoid muscles also get innervation from the spinal root of the accessory nerve. Okay, this is the coracoclavicular ligament, very important for weight trans transmission. Okay, so here we will get the costoclavicular ligament attachment and another muscle sternohyoid muscle sternohyoid muscle is a infra this is a muscle of the it is a strap muscle okay infrahyoid muscle and this is innervated by the ansa cervicalis okay we got that now we we'll go to the next slide here what are the peculiarities of the clavicle this is the only long bone that lies horizontally. It is subcutaneous throughout. It is the first bone to start ossifying but last to complete ossification. Its ossification is mostly intramembranous. Clavicle has two primary center of ossification. It has no medullary cavity. Some anatomists also have some controversy about that. Most of them accept that the clavicle has no medullary cavity. It may be pierced by the supraclavicular nerve, mostly middle supraclavicular nerve. So these are the peculiarities of the clavicle. Then we'll go to the function of clavicle. Certainly it is a very important function. Act as a support for keeping the upper limb away from the trunk and enables the upper limb to move freely prevents drooping of the point of the shoulder, transmits forces from the upper limb to the axial skeleton through the sternum, there is a part of axial skeleton, 
This is an important part of shoulder girdle. It provides attachment for the muscles and ligaments. So how can we differentiate male clavicle from female clavicle? There may be some medical legal importance here. So sometimes we may get only a few human remains, some bones. So how can we say it is male or female? Male clavicle is longer, heavier, more horizontal, with more prominent muscle impression, and they're more carved. And lateral end in the male is usually lower than that of the medial end, okay, or maybe same level. In female, the medial end is a bit lower, okay. We got that. Nutrient artery is a branch of the suprascapular artery. Its location on the lateral part of the of the subclavian groove and its direction is away from the sternal side. So sternal side is mostly the growing end, but we have may have separate secondary center ossification on the acumen end. So in that condition, both side may grow simultaneously longitudinally. Usually the medial side is the growing end. Then at the margin of the subclavian group, we'll get the attachment of the clavipectoral fascia. So clavipectoral fascia is the fascia, the fascia here, and this in encloses two muscles, subclavius and the pectoral is minor muscle. And clavipectoral fascia is pierced by the cephalic vein, thoracoacrimal artery, and the lateral pectoral nerve. You can remember CTL, cephalic vein, thoracoacrimal artery, and the lateral pectoral nerve, and certainly few limb facets. Also pierces the clavipectoral fascia. Okay. Now attachment, lateral attachment, we have the deltoid attachment here. Here is the attachment of the deltoid here. Attachment of deltoid. Anteriorly, posteriorly, we have the attachment of trapezius. Okay, ligament attachment, the conoid ligament here. And there will be trapezoid part, trapezoid ligament, joint, acromioclavicular joint, with that of the clavicle. Acromioclavicular joint, there is a plain variety of synovial joint. There is a plain variety of synovial joint. Okay. Muscular attachment on the medial aspect, anteriorly, we have the pectoralis, we have the pectoralis major muscle, pectoralis major muscle, and above superior surface turn of the mastoid muscle and inferior surface we have also posterior inferior aspect we have also small origin of sternohyoid muscle and subclavius along the subclavian fossa on the under surface of the of the clavicle and we have clavicular fascia on both sides of the subclavius ligaments and membrane interclavicular ligament capsule ligament Scapular ligament of joint capsule, sternoclavicular ligament, costoclavicular ligament, and certainly clavicular fascia. Joint, sternoclavicular joint, this joint, sternum, and this end is an example of saddle variety of synovial joint, also called cellar variety of synovial joint. So the acromioclavicular end is plain synovial joint. The sternoclavicular joint is a saddle or cellar variety of synovial joint. Okay. So we got the functions. We got the lateral third attachment. We got the ligament, muscle attachment to the medial to third. And we know the nerve supply of pectoralis is lateral and medial pectoral nerve. We know the nerve supply of strong to the mastoid muscle is spinal to the accessory nerve, sternohyoid innervated by the ansa cervicalis C1, C2, C3, subclavius muscle innervated by the nerve to the subclavius coming from the upper trunk of the 
brachial plexus okay we got the joint okay now again if we go to this image again let us summarize what we've learned the anterior two-third should be convex and the lateral one-third should be concave okay this is the superior view anterior two-third should be convex and lateral one-third is concave anteriorly okay we have the muscle attachment deltoid deltoid attachment lateral third anteriorly okay and this is the and trapezius on the posterior aspect lateral third and we have the subclavius the under surface of the clavicle on the under surface okay we have the attachment to ligament coracoclavicular ligament two part one is the conoid tubercle conoid part the trapezoid part little bit elongated this attachment we have also interclavicular ligament we have the anterior sternoclavicular ligament we have also posterior sternoclavicular ligament we have also an articular disc at this joint here this is settled type of synovial joint okay the clavicle begins to, what is the ossification begins to ossify before any other bone of the body usually there are three ossification center two for the center primary center ossification there is a peculiarity to primary center of ossification and one usually on the sternum part that is these three are fixed more or less rarely you may have one acromial secondary center of ossification so they unite the primary center of ossification unite on the fifth and sixth week of Indo-Uterine life. Okay, they unite by, they have appear at fifth to sixth week of Indo-Uterine life and unite by 45th day. Sternal length has secondary center of ossification appear between 15 to 17 years. There is some variation depending on the sex. In female, it is a little earlier, male little late. It also depends on the nutrition and unite with the shaft by 21 to 22 years. Acromial end may have a secondary center of ossification that also come around this time, 16, 17, 18, that unite with the shaft very quickly. Okay. Now we we'll go. This is the primary center. It has two primary center of ossification. One secondary center on the sternal end. Rarely, we may have another secondary center of ossification. So this is the growing end, okay? Because on the under surface, we get the Newton foramen that is moved, that is directed away from the sternal end. That means opposite the sternal end. So sternal end is the is the growing end. Here, clinical anatomy: clavicle is commonly fractured bone. It is subcutaneous. Fracture happens due to fall on the outstretched hand. The most common site of fracture is a junction between the two curvatures. What happened? The lower curvature goes down by the action of the gravity. Our upper curvature goes up by the action of the trapezius muscle. Okay. We have some relationship here also, very important relationship. That is the subclavian artery is, is related to posterior to the posterior to the clavicle okay the internal jugular vein subclavian vein from the brachiocephalic vein here we have also the trunk of the brachial plexus also present here so fracture usually does not involve those structure but those structure may be vulnerable due to fracture here is very important and very fascinating clavicle may be congenitally absent like this boy we call it cladocranial dysostasis because there is some lack of ossification of the skull bone you get a lot of warmian bone okay we may have problem in the spinal cord so that's all may happen in a child or man with cladocranial dysostasis usually they can act they can fix they can touch the both the 
shoulder together very easily. Okay. They can touch each shoulder to each other and they, that person may work in the circus party. Okay, and that's all about the anatomy of the clavicle or osteology of the clavicle. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice and blessed day. Bye now.